hire a virtual assistant now and chill. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Hire a Millennial Virtual Assistant. It's good to be back. I'm your host, John. And joining me today as my co-host is the incredibly talented Bree. And we are talking about mastering the art of social media management as a virtual assistant. Social media is a powerful tool for businesses today. And having a virtual assistant who can you know, navigate and optimize these platforms is a game changer. So I think it's a very vital topic, right? But anyway, before we dive in, how are you doing, Bree? It's been a while. I'm doing great, Sean. Yes, it's been a while due to some recent changes that you are doing, right? So how about you? How are you? Good, good. Yeah, uh, it, it's good that you mentioned it. I'd like to um, inform our listeners about some recent changes on the back end of HMVA or hire a millennial virtual assistant. Starting from here on out, we'll be um, transitioning to a monthly release schedule. So you can expect a new episode from us once a month. And for those who have always been supportive and eagerly anticipated our weekly episodes, we want to say thank you. Thank you so much. In the meantime, you can check out our YouTube channel where we have two podcasts available, right, John? And HMVA is the other one, of course. Yeah, it's actually a business need that requires us to shift our focus more towards the other podcasts. Yes, exactly, John. You guys can check out our YouTube channel. Again, it's VAFLIX and it's spelled as V A F L I X. So we have two podcasts there and you guys can also check our other podcast if you want. It's in Filipino, of course. So I'm pretty sure our Filipino listeners can relate to that as well. Right, John? Yeah, sure. Definitely, um, Bri. So uh, let's dive right in, shall we? Um, first, let's talk about um, some important tips for virtual assistants who want to do um, a great job of managing social media. Because social media is like the number one avenue for advertisement these days, right? Gone are the days that people really advertise on TV. Of course, there are still some, you know, I mean a lot, but, you know, people are more into their phones now, scrolling up and down and, you know, TikTok, Facebook. And since SMM or social media management is one of the most common tasks, I'm pretty sure this will help a lot of VAs out there. So, Bree, I believe you want to share our first tip. Um, well, John, um, tip number one is easy as one, two, three. It is um, staying updated with the latest trends, of course, and algorithm changes. This is very important if you are working with social media. I believe you guys in marketing department are having the same challenge, right? Because um, actually social media platforms are constantly evolving. And knowing what's trending and how to adapt to new algorithms is crucial. Yeah, uh, that's a great point, Bree. Staying up to date helps you make content that is not only interesting, but also, you know, works well within the rules of uh, the platform. Tip number two is all about making plans and sticking to them. You know, managing multiple clients is a big part of a virtual assistant's job. You know, having a content calendar and scheduling tools in place can save them a lot of time. Personally, whenever I work, I make sure everything is organized. Always, you know, keep in mind that being organized is the key. (laughs) Yeah, that is correct, John. Being punctual, being organized, and being neat with all the tasks can really help you get that peace whenever you're working. It can also help you feel less tired by the end of your shift, right? Yeah, based on experience, right? (laughs) Keeping everything organized, like mapping out your day before you start can help big time. Also, make sure to participate, participate, and participate. The whole point of social media is to connect with your audience. And that's another tip, actually, right? Be engaged, you know, respond to comments and messages and create conversations around your content. Because it's not just about posting. It's about interaction, right? Yeah, I couldn't agree more, John. And personally, I do this too because I have some followers too in my social media, especially TikTok, you know. And interaction is really important. 
or else they will feel like you're a robot and there is no human behind it. And this is very important to know for the virtual assistants out there who are handling Facebook, um, Instagram, or even the website itself for their clients. You need to be very engaging. And now moving on to the arguments um, for why businesses should hire a virtual assistant skilled in social media management. The number one reason, of course, is that it saves time and allows business owners to focus on core tasks. Yeah, um, delegating social media management to a skilled VA frees up valuable time for business owners to focus on what they do best, right? It's, it, it also enhances brand consistency. Um, a dedicated social media VA ensures that the brand's voice, style, and messaging remain consistent across all platforms. Consistency is key to building a strong online presence. Oh, wait, let's not forget about better ROI, right? A well-managed social media presence can drive more traffic, leads, and conversations for business. I'm pretty sure you'll agree. (laughs) And yeah, how about we provide some insights and research ideas for our listeners? Sure, yeah. In today's digital landscape, it's not just about posting content, it's about creating a genuine connection with your audience. Authentic storytelling is the key to achieve this deeper level of engagement. <laughs> That's right. Um, storytelling is something that everyone does, right? It, it, it is how we talk about our lives, our values, and how we feel. I agree to this because I do this with my personal podcast too, right? Same goes with businesses. They need to use stories well on social media so they can connect with, you know, the emotional side of their brand, which makes it easier to relate to and um, remember, right? Yeah, I just saw you posted another episode the other day. (laughs) So yeah, that is correct, Jen. So let's break it down a bit further when we talk about storytelling on social media. It's not just about telling any story. It's about telling your story. What's your personal story, right? So what's the story of your business? What challenges have you overcome? What are your values and beliefs? Sharing these aspects can create a strong emotional bond with your audience. Yeah, and it's not just limited to the business itself, right? Encouraging employees to talk about their own experiences with the company can also have a big effect. It gives the brand a face and, you know, shows the people behind it. If you're running a company, of course, like an agency, um, for example, this will work. Yeah, that is so true. Also, stories aren't just about text. They can be conveyed through images and videos too. Um, Visual storytelling is a powerful way to captivate your audience's attention and evoke emotions. Um, Think about how you can use visuals to enhance the stories you share. Yeah, that's right. Um, Reels, right? Or like YouTube video, for example. (laughs) Or a story in your Facebook or Instagram page. Also, um, keep in mind that it's not always about success stories. It can be just as interesting to talk about your mistakes and what you've learned from them. As a business owner, this is a good strategy. It, it shows that you are a real, you know, you, I mean, you are real and honest, which can really hit home with, um, you know, some audiences. Yeah, exactly. Like, how did you overcome this problem or that or yada, yada, yada? Because people love watching comeback videos, right? Like how people survive this specific scenario. So, for example, because they get inspired. um, And when you do share stories, don't forget to engage with your audience. Make it easy for them to talk about their own experience with your brand. User-generated content can be a goldmine for real stories that support the story of your brand. Right. To, to sum it up, storytelling on social media, it's not just about marketing or it's not just a marketing tactic, right? It's mm-hmm. a way to create a meaningful connection with your audience. You know, be authentic. Um, share your journey, involve your team, and don't be afraid to show the human side of your business. Another research idea is the use of 
just like what you said, user-generated content. Mm -hmm. Encourage customers to share their experiences with your product or service. And then highlight these stories on your social media, right? Yes, correct, John. And of course, finally, consider using data analytics tools to track the performance of your social media efforts. This can help you fine-tune your strategy and make data-driven decisions. Never forget about that, okay, everybody? Yeah. Um, Bree, those are some very good ideas. I, I think mm. that's everything that we have here. Um, mm. As we wrap up today's episode, keep in mind that learning how to manage social media as a virtual assistant is an important skill. So you have to keep learning, you know, stay up to date and always try to give your clients the best service that you can. That's right, John. And to our listeners, we hope you found these tips and insights useful. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for tuning in to Hire a Millennial Virtual Assistant. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. In the world of modern, electronic, fast-paced society, where everything needs to get done yesterday, Business owners always find themselves lost or buried under piles of daily crucial routine tasks that soaks up the last drop of energy a business owner has. Hiring assistants from VA Flex can shave hours from your work week. They offer a great level of convenience and flexibility, which leads to a healthier work-life balance, freeing up time to focus on your business. You are guaranteed to work with an assistant who is well-experienced a great communicator, highly educated, and has a good heart. They treat their clients like family. Hire a virtual assistant now and chill.